Hi there, my name is Charlotte Wagner, and I run the Canine Paws Academy in East London. Today I would like to take a moment to show you how to trim your dog's nails. To start off with, you're going to need a nail clipper that is appropriate for your dog, as well as a tasty treat that your dog really, really likes. To start off with, you're going to get your dog used to general handling of its foot. What I like to do is I like to play with my dog's foot, touching the nails, as well as around the pads, all while feeding my dog its treats. This is very practical to do while you're feeding your dog one of its meals as well. Okay. Make sure to touch all of the paws, including the front and the back. With a small breed dog like Asher, I also get them used to lying on their back. This makes nail trimming very simple and quite easy. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Once your dog is comfortable with the general handling, you're going to introduce your clipper. I allow my dog to sniff the clipper when I bring it near to her, just to make sure that she can inspect it and show no signs of fear. Yes, sis. Good girl. If she shows interest or no sign of distress, I will reward my dog with a treat. Good girl. Good girl. What's this? Good girl. Good girl. Is this good? I'm also going to put the clipper around my dog's foot and get the dog used to generally having the clipper near the paw. Good girl. Once your dog is comfortable with the clipper, you can begin trimming the nails. With a dog who has dark nails like Asher, you have to make sure to only trim the nails bit by bit to prevent bleeding. With a dog who has lighter nails, you might be able to see a pink area, which is called the quick, and contains the blood vessels in your dog's nail. Make sure to not trim too deep so that your dog does not bleed. If your dog happens to bleed, you can use a septic powder purchased from your local pet store to stop the bleeding or use a little bit of cornstarch. Now what I'm going to do with Asher is only clip one nail and then reward in between. If she's comfortable, I will proceed to clipping more nails, but you always want to make sure to go at your dog's pace and not distress them in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to bring the clipper close to the nail, let her inspect it, and then just quickly clip. Good girl! And give her a treat. Good girl! Good girl. Always make sure that your dog has a good experience while nail clipping and make the session fun. Thank you for watching the Canine Paws tutorial on how to clip your dog's nails.